For centuries, gravity was one of the greatest mysteries in physics. We could calculate its effects with incredible precision, yet we had no idea how fast gravity actually traveled. Did gravity act instantly across the universe? Or did it move at a finite speed, like light? The answer turns out to be one of the deepest truths about reality itself. Gravity travels at exactly the speed of light. Not approximately. Not close enough, exactly. And the reason why changes how we understand space, time, and the structure of the universe. The old idea, instant gravity. In the 1600s, Isaac Newton created the first successful theory of gravity. According to Newton, every object with mass attracts every other object instantly, no matter the distance. If the sun disappeared, Earth would immediately stop orbiting. No delay. No waiting for information to travel. Even Newton himself was uncomfortable with this idea. He called it action at a distance and admitted he didn't believe gravity could truly act instantaneously. But for centuries, no experiment could prove otherwise. A simple question that breaks physics. Imagine this scenario. The sun suddenly vanishes. What happens to Earth? If gravity were instant, Earth would immediately fly off in a straight line. But if gravity has a speed limit, Earth would continue orbiting for a short time until the information that the sun is gone reaches us. That delay should be about eight minutes, the same time it takes sunlight to reach Earth. If gravity were faster than light, it would violate one of the most important rules of physics. If it were slower, planetary orbits would become unstable. So which is it? Enter Einstein and space-time. In 1915, Albert Einstein introduced general relativity, a completely new way to think about gravity. Einstein didn't see gravity as a force. Instead, gravity is the curvature of space-time itself. Mass and energy bend space-time. Objects move by following the curves in that space-time. And here's the key insight. Space-time is part of the same structure that light travels through. Any change in space-time, including gravity, must propagate at the maximum speed allowed by the universe. That speed is the speed of light. Why gravity cannot be faster than light. The speed of light isn't just about light. It's the maximum speed of cause and effect. Nothing can transmit information faster than this limit. If gravity were faster than light, it would allow information to travel backward in time in some reference frames. That would break causality. Effects could happen before their causes. The universe would become logically inconsistent. General relativity avoids this completely by locking gravity to the same speed limit as light. But why isn't gravity slower? This is where things get really interesting. If gravity were slower than light, planetary orbits would slowly collapse or spiral outward. Here's why. Earth orbits the Sun based on where the Sun was, not where it is. If gravity lagged behind, Earth would be pulled toward an old position of the Sun. That would create a torque. Over time, orbits would become unstable. But they aren't. Planets orbit with incredible long-term stability. The only way this works is if gravity propagates at exactly the speed light does. Not faster. Not slower. The geometry makes it inevitable. In Einstein's equations, gravity isn't something added on top of space-time. It is space-time. Gravitational changes move as ripples in space-time, called gravitational waves. And just like ripples on a pond, they travel at a defined speed. That speed is set by the structure of space-time itself, which is the same structure that determines how light moves. So gravity and light share the same speed limit because they share the same underlying geometry. Gravitational waves. The final proof. For decades, this idea remained theoretical. Then in 2015, everything changed. Scientists detected gravitational waves for the first time. These waves came from two black holes colliding over a billion light years away. They arrived exactly when general relativity predicted, at the speed of light. Even more convincing was a later event involving neutron stars. We detected both gravitational waves and light from the same collision. They arrived within seconds of each other, 
after traveling for over 100 million years. That confirmed it beyond doubt. Gravity and light move at the same cosmic speed. What this says about the universe, this isn't just a coincidence. It tells us something profound. The universe has a built-in speed limit and everything that carries information obeys it. Light, gravity, causality, reality itself. The speed of light isn't really about light. It's about how fast the universe can respond to change. Gravity isn't an exception. It's woven into the same fabric. Why exactly matters. You might wonder why physicists emphasize that gravity moves at exactly the speed of light. Because even a tiny difference would show up in precise measurements. Binary star systems, black hole mergers, planetary motion, all of them match Einstein's predictions perfectly. Within experimental accuracy, the speeds are identical. Not approximately, not close enough, exactly. A deeper interpretation. Some physicists believe this points to something even deeper. That space-time itself is a kind of information field. Light carries information through it. Gravity is information encoded in its curvature. Both are bound by the same rule because they are different expressions of the same underlying reality. The universe's ultimate speed limit. So why does gravity equal the speed of light? Because gravity is not a force traveling through space. It is the structure of space-time itself. Space-time enforces a universal speed limit. That limit is the speed of light. Gravity doesn't just follow that rule. It defines it. Final thought. The fact that gravity and light move at the same speed is not a coincidence. It is a requirement for a universe that makes sense. A universe where causes come before effects. Where orbits are stable. Where time flows forward. The speed of light isn't special because of light. Light is special because it reveals the speed of reality itself. And gravity has been obeying that speed all along.